JJ McCarthy uh, declared for the NFL draft yesterday. Wanted to make sure we we hit on that, David. And and I texted you right when I saw that because, look, JJ McCarthy's his own man. I understand going out on top. Uh, I, I haven't seen the grades that he's gotten back or, or anything that the scouts have told him. Legitimately, I, I was surprised a little bit to see that he declared mm-hmm. with as deep as this quarterback class is. And I wondered, and, and the reason I texted you, David, was does this kind of give us a, w- a window or a preview into maybe what Jim Harbaugh will do? Possibly. Reported Some other that he was meeting with the Chargers. Yeah, he is. Go- Jim Harbaugh is going to meet with the Chargers. And possibly, I would still put it at like a 60% chance that Jim Harbaugh takes the Chargers job if offered it. So I don't know, like, will he officially be offered it? We know about the Spanos family. They don't, they're notorious for not, you know, spending a lot of money when they do these head coaching searches, but they got to get this one right. So Jim Harbaugh very, mel- very may well leave Michigan, but I don't know if this decision gives us insight into that because it's not surprising to me. I mean, J.J. McCarthy just finished a perfect season, 15-0, and won the national championship. Like, if you want to ride out on top, no one can blame you, right? No one can blame you. And J.J. McCarthy is going to go down as the greatest quarterback in Michigan history, which is wild because I played with some really good ones too, man, with Chad Henney and with Denard Robinson. You think about what Tom Brady, what he was even able to accomplish there, Elvis Gerbach, uh, Jim Harbaugh himself. But J.J. McCarthy will go down as the greatest because he has the the wins plus the stats and all the acc- accolades. I think he's the winningest quarterback in college football history, at least dating back to the early 70s, something like that. When you look at even some of the numbers when we were growing up with Ken Dorsey and some of those Miami teams, yeah. you know, he's like taking that to another level with the stats yeah. that he had. So, look, I don't blame the kid at all. I think he he misses some throws that need to be automatic at the next level. I think we all know that. And this is the deepest quarterback class that we've seen ever because everyone got additional COVID eligibility. With that being said, I think he's going to wow at Pro Day. I think he's going to wow in the, in the film room when he gets with some of these NFL scouts and GM. He will get drafted. I don't think he's a first or second round guy, but uh, you know maybe that means he goes to a better situation, can sit a year behind a guy or two. Jake, you were talking about the Vikings. Imagine sitting behind Kirk Cousins. And what I just saw Jordan Love do, okay, Man. who was able to sit behind Ooh. Aaron Rodgers, not only, not only is he polished and ready, he looks like Aaron Rodgers. You can tell he was taking mental reps behind the guy year after year. Let someone like J.J. McCarthy with a high football IQ do that, and I think the kid will be just fine, and Ann Arbor wishes him nothing but the best. Hey, YouTube, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Check us out. Roll through our videos. We drop content all the time. Turn that notification bell on as well so you can be updated when we do release it.